why I believe that Michael Jai White has never given Bruce Lee any real credit as a martial arts practitioner um, and just an overall phenom as it relates to martial arts and even innovator of the martial arts was probably because Michael Jai White um, has a tinge of a narcissistic personality and for those of you that don't know what narcissists are they're people who believe that they are right and other people are wrong that they know as much or more than other individuals even if they have not even proven that they know as much or more but why do you even have to compare in the first place so that there's much to be said about that but uh, I believe uh, sometimes it's insecurity that makes people make those types of statements that I can beat so and so uh, it's because they possibly see something in that individual that they wish they were but here recently uh, I took the liberty of looking up the net worth of the martial artists that Michael Jai White basically said were not fighters to include Bruce Lee and to see what their net worth was and is I said was as it relates to Bruce Lee because he's no longer here and um, Michael Jai White who is presently here with us I will say this again uh, I enjoy Michael Jai White's movies for the most part he's very skilled at what he does so this is somewhat of a disclaimer disclaimer in the sense that I'm not saying that he's not a great martial artist because he actually is for his age for his size and for his studies you know his particular endeavors as it relates to karate and so forth so with that said let's check out Michael Jai White's net worth versus Bruce Lee, Jet Lee, Jackie Chan, and even John Claude Van Damme, all of which he said were not fighters. This is true. So, let's go with the least net worth. Now, Bruce Lee has been gone for many, many years now, but according to Celebrity Network, CelebrityNetworth.com, and that's where all of these figures come from for all of these individuals. Bruce Lee's net worth or his estate is 10 million. Okay. Following behind him would be John Claude Van Damme. His net worth is 30 million. And above him is Jet Lee. His net worth is 200 million dollars. Now, guess who's number 1 on the net worth? list out of these five individuals Jackie Chan the one that he said was not a fighter he was just a martial arts performer on screen this is what Michael Jai White said about Jackie Chan Jackie Chan's net worth is 350 million he's at the top of these individuals now I would be remiss if I didn't mention Michael Jai White's net worth according to CelebrityNetWorth.com now all of these individuals information is on the same site Michael Jai White's net worth is 3.5 million dollars he's at the bottom of the list so his net worth is substantially less than everyone else's maybe this could be a reason or the reason or one of the reasons why he doesn't want to give the proper credit to all of these individuals that I just mentioned is Jackie Chan a martial artist and not just a performer on screen yes he is Jackie Chan has a laundry list of films under his belt is Jet Li a martial artist and not just a performer on screen yes he is is and was John a kickboxing champion and undefeated for many many years in another country yes he was 
And is he a fighter? Yes, he is. He doesn't have to wear it on his sleeve, ladies and gentlemen. Now, finally, the legendary Bruce Lee. Was he a fighter and not just a performer on screen pretending to do and know martial arts? Yes, he was and he is. Bruce Lee had a large library of books on virtually every martial arts style to include boxing, French sabbat, over 2,000 books. And he read these books. Bruce Lee had himself on film training. He had instructors and friends build him specific equipment to build certain aspects of his training ability, his skill set for strength because of his size. And Bruce Lee had a few schools before he passed. Bruce Lee has students that are still living, a handful that are still living, uh, that's still promoting and pushing his art. Shannon Lee is still promoting Bruce Lee's name. China, Hong Kong erected a statue within the past 10 years to Bruce Lee. And Bruce Lee has Jeet Kune Do schools all over the world in various countries where Jeet Kune Do and Jun Fan is still being taught. Now how in the world could a man who is just an actor fool the whole world and have all of these people who have given him these accolades and his accreditations, how could they be wrong? Did he fool everyone in actually being an actor and pretending that he knew martial arts? Of course not. There were too many people that were prominent martial arts masters and grandmasters that acknowledged Bruce Lee as being the greatest martial artist. Jean LaBelle, judo. He knew what Bruce Lee was all about. He knew that he was a great martial artist. Ed Parker, he invited Bruce Lee to his martial arts event to demonstrate because he knew Bruce Lee was the real deal. Jun Ri, the late Grandmaster Jun Ri, Taekwondo Grandmaster, he said that Bruce Lee was so fast that he would not even get in the ring with him. And Dan Asanto, who studied also Filipino martial arts, he's one of Bruce Lee's existing uh, surviving students that's still living, teaching Filipino martial arts and Jeet Kune Do and Jun Fan. Now, is he wrong? Are all of the other students of Bruce Lee in error? as to who he was and what he represented and what he stood for as it relates to martial arts. Did they think he was fake? Why didn't anybody challenge him when he was living? But everybody wants to surface and come out the woodwork and say they could have beat him and that he wasn't all of that. So, Michael Jai White is a very good martial artist. But he's very, very sadly mistaken concerning these other individuals that I just mentioned saying that they are just performance martial artists and that they would not do well against him a couple that he mentioned it's interesting so what is your take on this this is brother teacher don't forget the net worth of all five of these individuals Jackie Chan at the top, 350 million net worth. Jet Li, 200 million. John Claude Van Damme, 30 million. And Bruce Lee was 10 million, and he's not here, of course. But little old Michael Jai White, net worth 3.5 million. I wonder who actually is the greatest celebrity as it relates to martial arts out of that group. Think on these things. I'm out.